here we discuss the passion back effect so we have already learned the anomalous Zeeman effect and the anomalous Zeeman effect is valid only if the applied magnetic field is weak so if the magnetic field is weak then uh, the internal fields due to the spin and orbital motions of the valence electron um, is large as compared to the external field so uh, for very small magnetic fields uh, there is uh, the external magnetic field is said to be weak as compared to the internal fields so in such cases anomalous pattern occurs so if the field is strong or if the magnetic field is very high then the spin orbit coupling would be small compared to the magnetic splitting of the energy levels so we can neglect the uh, spin orbit coupling in the first approximation so we have seen that in the presence of a weak magnetic field L and S presses around J and uh, J presses around the applied magnetic field B. But if the magnetic field is very very strong this coupling between L and S breaks and uh, therefore L and S separately presses around the applied magnetic field so we don't have to take J in such cases so S and L separately presses around the applied magnetic field so uh, in the presence of the strong magnetic field the anomalous Zeeman pattern changes to normal Zeeman pattern so this phenomena is called passion back effect. Apo namla already kanto uh, normal Zeeman effect na namku singlets in the case lana gitu na the anomalous uh, Zeeman effect so multiple mat, multiplets in the case lana gitu na. But in the case of multiplets, if the very, field is very very strong, uh, the anomalous Zeeman pattern changes to normal Zeeman pattern. So that means uh, triplets and go to moon lines a separation z man ball so this phenomena is called passion back effect so in the presence of a strong magnetic field the anomalous z man pattern changes to normal z man pattern so this one is called the passion back effect so this is because when this field is very very strong the separation between the Zeeman components increases. So we know that uh, as field increases, the separation between the uh, Zeeman components is um, proportional to B. So when B increases, the separation also increases. So uh, they become greater than the separation between the multiplet fine structure components. So, our anomalous Zeeman pattern changes to normal Zeeman pattern. So, strong field in the case of J is not fixed in space. So, we don't have to take uh, J. L and S separately presses around the magnetic field. So, the interaction energy delta E in the field B will be delta E is equal to within the S presses around B and uh, L presses around B. About interaction energy, we are going magnetic uh, dipole moment in the term. Le, minus mu L dot B minus mu S dot B. Minus mu J dot B, we are going separate it. J is not fixed in space. And... Uh, so, mu L is equal to namkaryam uh, gyromagnetic ratio times L. So, uh, G into E by 2M L and mu L were Okay. Uh, so, minus E by 2M. G is 1. So, minus E by 2M L. So, substitute the 
e by 2m l dot p and mu s mu s in the case le, spin motion in the case le, land edge factor 2 aana, uh, 2 into minus e by 2m s uh, so we have uh, uh, e by m s plus minus minus plus i e by m s dot p so e by 2 m l dot b and r in the l b cos theta cos of angle between l and b and s dot b is uh, s magnitude of s into magnitude of b into cos of angle between s and b so one inka rayam then inka l and b in the middle angle the then the projection in the arena the ml cross it's a irikyum other world then either e magnitude e direction in the arena the l like you okay but substitute the garden yale one inka uh, e by 2m lb cos of angle between l and b we already say that uh, ml cross h by l l is root of l into l plus 1 cross h and substitute in the garden if they l in the cancel and e by m s b m is cross h by s so this s and s cancels and we have this equal to e h cross by 2 m ml plus e h cross by m ms into b variant. So e h cross by 2 m into b can be a common factor so we have h cross by 2m ml plus 2ms into b so this is the interaction energy but 2ms varan garnam the gyrum the land edge factor for spin motion as double that of the orbital motion or the gyro magnetic ratio for spin motion as uh, double as that of the orbital motion so we have this e h cross by 2ms mu b so mu b b into ml plus 2 ms so this is the interaction energy in the presence of the magnetic field so interaction energy namukku vera oru reethiyilum gaana delta i is equal to delta i due to orbital motion plus delta i due to spin motion appo namukku ariyam delta i l ennu parayunnathu omega l into lz aanu and delta es nu parayunnathu omega s z omega l is the precession frequency for orbital motion and uh, omega s is that of the spin motion lz is the uh, z component of orbital angular momentum as z is the z component of uh, spin angular momentum and we know that uh, omega is equal to g into e by 2m b omega l in the case of uh, e by 2m b so we have uh, e by 2m b lz is ml cross h and omega s is um, 2 e by 2 m g is 2 b so e by m b sz is ms cross h so you can get the same equation get to e h cross by 2 m ml plus 2 m s into b so this is mu b mu b b into ml plus 2 m s so uh, in wave number units uh, this is given by delta t is equal to delta e by h c so we have the same bomb e b by 4 pi m c ml plus 
2ms. So which is ml plus 2ms into the Lorentz unit. So ms we are going to substitute here. ms are going to plus or minus half. So ml plus or minus half m half into 2. So plus or minus 1 Lorentz unit. So now consider two energy levels in the absence of heat E0 prime and E0 double prime. So this is when V equal to 0. So when we apply the magnetic field, a strong magnetic field here. So then the energy of this level changes. So E0 prime is changed to E prime which is E0 prime plus this interaction energy delta I. That is ML plus 2MS into mu BB. So prime coordinate and ML prime 2MS prime and delta. That is second energy level. E double prime out, which is initial energy in the absence of field plus presence of field of the interaction energy ml double prime plus 2ms double prime into mu bb. So, uh, in the absence of field energy difference is just E0 prime minus E0 double prime which is h nu. That is the corresponding frequency spectral line to frequency nu angle h nu. So, in the presence of field the energy difference is E prime minus E double prime is E0 prime minus E0 double prime plus so the minus a umbo ml prime minus ml double prime delta ml delta ml into mu bb plus 2 times delta ms into mu bb where delta ml is ml prime minus ml double prime and delta ms is ms prime minus ms double prime so but we have the selection rules delta ml is equal to 0 plus or minus 1 and delta ms is equal to 0 always so substituting this we get e prime minus e double prime is equal to e 0 prime minus e 0 double prime plus this is uh, delta ms is 0. So, delta ml into mu bb. Uh, so, delta ml can have 3 values 0 plus or minus 1. So, this uh, every energy level uh, sorry every spectral line split into 3 lines because there are 3 values for delta ml. So, uh, which is similar to the normal Zeeman effect. So, either the spectral line, aha, that is one line. All that, I am calling mu. Another thing, frequency angle h nu plus delta ml into mu bb. So, that is the corresponding frequency. No, I am mu uh, plus delta ml into mu bb by h. Mu bb by h. So, I am substitute it. So, e h cross by two m. So, delta ml into e h cross by two m. Uh, e b by 4 pi m in t. So delta m l 0 on the mu then we do mu line. Uh, delta m l 1 now the mu plus e b by 4 pi m. Delta m l minus uh, 1 now uh, mu minus e b by 4 pi m. So every spectral line split into 3 and the separation is e b by 4 pi m. So this is similar to the Zeeman effect. So in the strong field the anomalous Zeeman pattern changes to normal Zeeman pattern. So, this is nothing but the uh, passion back effect. We will discuss the details of passion back effect in the next class. Okay. Thank you.